everybody and welcome to my uh, my bench today. Uh, today I wanted to take a few minutes uh, to talk to you about something that is often overlooked when uh, dealing with some some uh, simple tools around your bench. And uh, those are uh, your your test probes, your 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 test leads, I should say. Um, and the reason I want to talk to you about this is quite often I see students, uh, walking around with uh, little flimsy things uh, that tend to tend to fail for some reason, okay? Uh, and whether it's uh, abuse or uh, misuse or just overuse, uh, these tend to get uh, really really torn up rather quickly. And these ones these ones uh, are in reasonable shape for what they are, uh, but as you can see, I have quite a menagerie of different uh, different samples here. That I've collected over the years, and so uh, here, here's a couple of these these little white guys. Um, you'll notice that uh, they are different different uh, gauges. So uh, neither one of them is going to be very good at carrying a lot of current, uh, but they're reasonable. And if you take a look at them, uh, they're they're just crimped in here. So there's nothing really too awfully special about them, and, and they're quite inexpensive. Uh, and you know what? Uh, most of the time they'll, they'll do, uh, but you know you're trying to you're trying to uh, get this onto onto a banana jack, and you know I'm seeing students uh, try, trying to clip it on like so, and that's great if you if you've actually got the, the proper binding post, uh, but you know you'll also see the see some people trying to come in and grab it here, and that's that's. It, it, in a pinch, you, you can do this. Um, but you know what? There's a better option, and, and the option is a proper banana jack. And so here I've got a banana jack uh, to alligator clip, and and that's that's okay. These are these are nice because they're 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 uh, they're stackable, so I can I can actually plug one into the other and and work my way out uh, so that I can have a for example banana to banana going to uh, my so from my power supply to to a voltmeter, and then from the voltmeter uh, to my test uh, test rig, which and that that's fantastic. Um, there's also uh, alligator to alligator. Uh, and this one, you know, this one's been around for quite a while. The silicones, you know, it, it's okay still, but uh, it, it's a little short, right? And you'll find most of these. Most of these are that I find useful are at least at least you know uh, 600 millimeters long, um, maybe a little bit longer, uh, and, and so if you're going to, if you're going to have one, it's better to be a little bit long than a little bit short, and so that that takes care of those ones. Um, this one this one looks okay, but to be honest with you, it it, it again has a lot of insulation on it and not a lot of copper. And so again, cheap, cheerful, and not worth not worth your time. Uh, these ones, these ones I picked up, uh, and they're perfect. Um, so I've, I mean, I've tried to solder this on, and but the copper on it is just so cheap uh, that it that it absolutely uh, breaks off every opportunity you get. You can see there's not a whole lot here. Uh, what am I seeing? Two, uh, four, six, you know, maybe eight strands in there. So not that you're going to be trying to carry a lot of a lot of current through this. You know, you're not going to be hooking it up to a 10-watt resistor and expecting to, to, to draw any real power through these. The, I mean, the little grabbers are, are super handy. But again, no, no real current carrying capacity at all. And... So that yeah, it kind of gets filed into the into the garbage bin. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about uh, creating uh, a new set of uh, of probes for me, not probes, uh, hookup cables. And uh, the reason I'm going with two sets is uh, 14 gauge wire is great if you're trying to draw a lot of power. Um, 
I realize you can't you can't appreciate how heavy this is, but it it, it is quite dense. And the idea here is that uh, I have I have some applications where I need to I need to uh, source some 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 current, and I don't want a voltage drop across it. And so you know, uh, according to the Canadian Wiring Guide, I should be able to run uh, 15 amps through this in my house. Uh, without any real problem. Um, the truth is that I can put a lot more through this before before it becomes a problem. But what I don't want to have is any voltage drop across my, you know, uh, we'll probably uh, cut these off at about uh, 900 millimeters, give or take. Uh, and, and so I, I don't want any voltage drop across this nice heavy wire. And so here, here's the part that, it, that I ordered. Uh, I've ordered uh, red and I've ordered black. And I'm going to uh, make up uh, two sets uh, tonight uh, of, of the red and two sets of the black. And I've picked these really, really nice, super nice uh, connectors for these. Uh, they're a bit of a pain in the butt because they're, they need to be soldered on. Okay, and, and, and we've got this little... Uh, clip that comes in the in the back and you can see here's one that's finished um and they're 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 super stout it, you this this is a solid piece of metal it, it's it's you know not going to go anywhere and i want to use i want to use this because um you know not cheap but for sure not going to have any issues with uh voltage drops across it uh, and that voltage drop can also come in the in the, in the connector, and so these these really good connectors are are super handy. And I'm only going to use Banana Jack on this, and the reason is uh, I bought I bought a couple of really nice uh, alligator clips, and so if I need if I need a uh, an alligator clip, I can simply pop on an alligator clip. And these ones I picked these ones because they do. Uh, cover almost the entire the entire uh, plug uh, so very nice that I don't end up getting any shorts and so I'll show you how to put those ones together here in a second and I want to show you what's really special about uh, this cable uh, we can look at the other one as well all right so this is this is one one aspect of it uh, the other one the other one is a little bit lighter uh, so this is uh, 18 gauge. You can see that I bought uh, 10 feet, and so I'm going to make uh, three of these tonight, and uh, probably, probably round it off to about three feet because I need a little bit of this cable for something else. Uh, so I'll play that by ear. Uh, I'll figure out how long I want these. Uh, but uh, again, uh, 18 gauge wire, you know, for for measuring voltages uh fantastic okay you can see there's there's uh there's quite a bit of insulation around this and uh that's it that's intentional uh this is 3000 volt rated which is a little bit overkill but um you know it's okay and what i'm planning on doing for these is a bit of a downgrade for the for the uh for the the connectors but these are fantastic connectors, and I love these because they actually have a swivel to them. So what this allows me to do is if I need to stack them, I can stack as many as I want, and they just come in on the side. And so that's uh, fantastic. Uh, no, no real issues with binding and twisting and, and what have you. All right. So, um, right, without further ado, let's let's uh let's start tearing this down and see what we can what we can make here it's super quick all right so i'll grab my handy dandy measuring stick and so there's 30 60 90 and so if if we imagine uh at 90 uh, millimeters and I'm plugged in I can reach basically anything on my bench and so that's that's good so I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut one two 
two. And the third one is about a foot longer. So I'm probably gonna I'm gonna leave that as is for now. So I'll have two two of one length and one a little bit longer. And we'll call that fantastic. Now these ones are super simple to put together because uh, you've got this little binding post in the side. And so what I'll do is I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to try not tinning it first. I have, I have my doubts, uh, but this is fantastic. Let's grab about a centimeter. And I'm going to be really careful not to cut all the way down to the copper because I don't want to lose any of these strands. And so you'll notice before uh, that I had only six little strands in there. Okay. You see how many strands there are here? It's, it's like hair. It's like hundreds of them. And so why do I want that? The uh, Basically what this will allow me to do is have a really flexible cable super flexible and that's that's uh super important for me uh because i don't i don't want i don't want my cables pulling on any of my equipment right. so here i'm just going to reef this down Give that a shot and you'll notice it pulls out so that's uh that was somewhat predictable okay so let's uh let's try this again we're going to tin it up and so I've got uh, my broadest uh, tip that I have out today. Grab some lead-free solder. Normally I'd have my fan going. Do us all the favor and not have to listen to it. Okay, fantastic. Nicely tinned up. So now we'll insert that in and again, give it a little twist down on the screw. And I can feel it deforming and that's, that's perfect. And so I have, I have five of these. Uh, so on the other end of this one, I'm going to, I'm going to put, uh, today I'm going to put, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put one of these on, uh, just so that I can, I can show you how I, how I usually do this. Now I did spend a little bit extra money on these, uh, because they are, um, pluggable, but I will sacrifice a couple of them to show you, to show you what's, uh, what what's a in my opinion a, a good a good technique? And so here we are. I'm gonna feed on the cover. I'm going to strip this back again about a centimeter. Get a little whirl here. And again, being careful not to not to cut any of those wires. So I just score the silicone. And I'll give this a little little tin. For sure don't need to be fussy with this one yet because I'm just going to insert this in and give it a bit of a crimp down. Okay. Not ideal, but there we go. And just to be overly paranoid, we'll uh, heat this up and give it a little bit of solder in there just to wet it. Gonna take a second as my iron's recovering. Okay, nicely wetted through now. We'll let that cool down for a moment uh, before we touch it because it's going to be uh, killer hot. All right. Okay, while that's uh, cooling down, we'll grab the other sample here. And so again, we'll grab uh, 30, 60, 90. 
cut her off. Good. Okay, um, so as you can see, there's quite a bit more copper here uh, in the in the 14 gauge. And so I'll strip this back. And there, I mean, it, there's an amazing amount of, of uh, strands in here. And so that's that's great. And we'll grab grab the other end of this guy. Oh, we can get back here. And you can see it. Uh, there isn't a great deal of excess room, but uh, well, it's not too bad. Uh, there's enough that it will allow us to definitely uh, tin it up, which will make our life a whole lot easier. So we'll slide the boot on. So. And give it a nice little tin. And now this is a little bit tricky because this thing is going to get really, really hot. Really hot. I don't want to burn my table. So I'm going to, let's try that. These banana jacks are almost disposable. All right, so that's good and a toasty. And so there we go. Uh, this this I can guarantee will will be able to deliver you know eight eight or nine amps uh, and see basically a no voltage drop. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll let it cool down here and we will give it a test on my uh, digital multimeter here. Now, a uh, word of warning about these guys: these uh, once these boots slide down. Uh, there's basically no getting them back off. That is, that is heavy. That's definitely, definitely a few grams. I realize this is happening off camera for you, but uh, here we are. I'm looking at uh, not 0 0.02 ohms according to my uncalibrated uh, Hewlett Packard. Oh, there it's dropped down to 0 0.01. So. That's uh, that's quite reasonable, quite reasonable. I'm happy with that, and I think I'm happy with the uh, with my nice uh, twisty guy. It will uh, mean that I don't end up with so many so many kinks in my in my uh, my supply cables. All right, so that's it for for uh, cables for tonight, and. Uh, yeah, I guess the I guess the takeaway is uh, the best cable is the one that you make or buy uh, for your specific purpose. Okay, so keep that in mind, and uh, please, uh, I don't want to see I don't want to see too many of these guys, uh, particularly the the cheesy little guys, because they're they're really they're really going to come to haunt you. All right, thanks, and uh, have yourself a great day. Okay. I know.